Do I look rich? <laughs> it's hot in this thing. Why is my hair doing that? I feel like I'm not wearing a housewife. I, I don't know which one, but um, I do. I just wanna make the moolah la, yeah, the moolah la. I just wanna make the moolah la. Go on, go scream the moolah la, yeah. I don't want no love. You know me, I only think about funds. Me, I'm trying to do my. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Welcome to my home. You like the new fur? Mm -hmm. Today, my darling, I'm going to teach you about being bougie on a budget. Yes, indeed. You can make these men's pockets hurt. You can rob the men of their money and get whatever you want. And today, I'm going to show you how to do that. Mm. But first, before I do that, I need you to like this video, subscribe, and comment. This is my first of many bougie on a budget videos on my channel. So if you would like to see more, and if you're looking forward to seeing more, please subscribe to the channel. Oh God, let me get out this fur. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Alyssa Nichelle, and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about being bougie on a budget. Yes, this is something that I know oh too well. Um, a lot of my best friends call me the bougie friends, but I am the bougie savvy friend. I'm gonna be sharing some tips and tricks with you guys today, but first, please again, make sure to like this video, comment if you enjoy it, or if you have any tips of your own, I would really welcome it and would love to hear about what you guys do. We love to be fabulous, we love to be bougie, we love to be cute in our designer pieces. I know I love to be cute in my designer pieces. That is a thing for me. However, some things are not worth full price. Some of the items that are designer items, sometimes they're just not worth it to me. So today I'm gonna be telling you guys how to get the item you want for less. Yes, for less. I'm not even making this up. This is no scam, no gimmick. I'm gonna tell you right here today. So if you wanna find out how you do that, please stay tuned. Before we get into this video, I just wanna give a couple of shout outs. So I want to thank Drama Wink for extending me these lashes. I have them on right now and they are mint quality lashes, come in this cute little box and they are based here in Atlanta. So if you are looking for some quality lashes, black owned business, make sure you check out Drama Wink. Thank you to Drama Wink again for sending me these. Really love them, really appreciate them and looking forward to getting more. Another shout out that I would like to make is to my stylist, Panda, the stylist in Atlanta and her frontal pandemonium hair company has me laid. It's been the most amazing frontal. It's a 13 by six frontal, has lasted me a long time. It's HD frontals. She sells frontals, bundles, wigs, everything. And the bundles are from her hair company, which I've used before. But I wanted to give a shout out just in case you guys asked where these items are from and let's get right into it you have your wine because this is a bougie on a budget video so unless you're under 21 don't drink if you're under 21 and watching this don't you get no drink don't you do it don't get me in trouble with your parents don't do it so disclaimer if you're 21 or over raise your glass hey my neighbors are doing work next door um so it may sound a little crazy hopefully the background music covers that up and y'all don't hear a thing. So recently I celebrated my 27th birthday. Shout out to all my Geminis, June 20th. After I turned 27, I was thinking about what kind of content I wanted to add to my channel. Yes, I want it to be makeup and beauty, but what else could I add that people would really value? And so I decided that I was gonna share some tips and tricks with you on how I give life. I narrowed it down to top five things in order to be successful in your journey to getting designer pieces for less. And the first thing that I wanted to tell you guys is, this is probably one of the most important, sign up for email lists. I swear to you, 
email lists are godsend. Those email lists will tell you when all the good sales are, especially the anniversary sales and the designer sales. Make sure you give them an email that you frequently use so that way you can check it and see when all the sales are. Easy peasy. Gotta keep the pinky up in the air. Number two is definitely tied into number one with these designer stores, which is to peruse the sales section. Normally, I like to peruse the sales section on the website itself because in the sales section in the store, it's kind of junky, kind of messy. You don't really get to the good stuff and you don't necessarily see what's going on. It's very rare when you find a good find in the sales section in the store. Sometimes I found an item that I absolutely loved and they didn't have it in my size. Whether it be jeans, sweaters, sneakers, shoes, anything, Always filter it so that way you can find things in your size and you don't get disappointed when you can't find them. Number three is a good one because people think about it but they don't really think about it, if you get what I'm saying. Consignment stores are a bomb way to find designer pieces. A lot of the time these places have authentication processes so what you're getting is what you're getting. I know some people have gone to consignment shops and have gotten fake pieces so please be aware of that um but make sure that the consignment shop you go to is has a thorough authentication process my favorites for consignment are lepri which is l-e-p-r-i-x dot com and that will be in the description box another good site to use is fashion file i've used that a couple of times for my items and have never seen a problem lapri and fashion file are the ones that i use but there are some other good ones you just have to dig and also in the purse forums they have a lot of lists of consignment shops to look from number four some of y'all may kill me for this especially those that shop designer they're gonna be like Alyssa, what are you doing but i have to tell the people i have to say it outlet stores do have good deals um but just be cautious some of the items are made from factories that are the same factory but there's something off with them like maybe the stitching is off and they couldn't sell it in the store or most of the time the item is out of season but if it's a classic item like a 50 50 stuart weissman boot it'll never go out of season <laughs> nordstrom's rack Saks or fifth and last call by neiman marcus i have found great items at all three stores it's just all about again filtering to your sizes looking up your favorite brands and digging i have found designer shoes that are over 600 dollars for 80 dollars before i've found shoes that are 70 percent off denim for 70 percent off you name it it's all about just taking your time looking online do i go into the actual store absolutely not i don't have the patience and i don't have the time in terms of the designer actual outlet stores i know gucci has an outlet store burberry has an outlet store apparently that's also a good way to get designer items for less i have never personally gone into those outlet stores um i'm looking to see one day to see how that experience is but if you've been to an outlet store comment below and tell me what your experience was i've never done it yet um maybe it's a good deal i don't know lastly this is probably something that i've discovered as of recently and i'm sure some other people have found out during this pandemic also but resale apps are a great way to find some designer pieces especially vintage designer pieces there's depop there's etsy there's poshmark there's ebay there's etsy there's so many resale apps and websites that you can use to find amazing killer vintage designer pieces even regular designer pieces they have Louboutins there for $100. Sometimes one shoe is bigger than the other by like half the size. Who cares? Stick a little bit of tissue in them. You'll be all right. I've seen Dior saddlebags on Depop for $200 because they're vintage. Like anything that you could look for, again, that's a classic that will never go out of style. You could get the same look for less. What are you waiting for? I've used Poshmark a lot to sell some of my older stuff and sell some things that I've never worn before. However, Poshmark, I feel, is a app that kind of opens the door to a plethora of items if you will i'm not gonna put it out there and say what kind of items but some maybe less than authentic that's, that's what i'm saying talk with the seller continue to communicate with the seller don't be afraid to ask for additional pictures don't be afraid to ask for if it comes with a dust box if it comes with a box in general ask as many questions as you feel you're comfortable with before you hit purchase sometimes it is covered under buyer protection sometimes it is not so 
be aware that if you do buy secondhand by someone directly, sometimes they even may not even know that it is a fake item. Um, sometimes people may think it's an authenticated real item and it may not be. So just be very careful of that when you're shopping. Another thing to keep in mind, which I just thought about as I was filming was that sometimes the item that you're looking for comes in different prints and colors and they will probably go on sale first because it is an out of season style and it's not a classic. So for example, if you see a pair of Ferragamo flats and they're $200, and they are kind of like a everything must go kind of deal. It's probably because it's almost out of season and it's in a maker color that's probably not gonna come back. It's okay, get it and do it. If you're perfectly fine with wearing some out of season things, personally, I'm fine with it. Who can even tell if things are out of season unless you're really like glaring at my feet or glaring at my items? Like it's, who cares? And there you have it. That is how I get my designer pieces for less, majority of the time. There are a couple of things that I have paid full price for in my lifetime that I've charged to a credit card that I immediately regretted, but then I got them and it was okay. These shades that I got right here, perfect example. Celine sunglasses, don't even wanna tell you how much I paid for them. Do I feel like an amazing Atlanta housewife with them on? Absolutely. I made this video just to help you guys navigate the space, especially if you're a first time designer item buyer. Um, I know sometimes it can be difficult, especially if you're a younger person and you want to buy a designer item. And it's okay to buy secondhand pre-loved or on sale items. If you want to buy a brand new item and get the experience, you can do that also. You can save up and get it or sometimes pull the trigger and just do it on your own. But regardless of whatever you do, remember that designers and labels do not make you. I wanted to give a disclaimer just because of the fact that there may be some younger people watching. It does not matter how many designer clothes you buy, how many designer items you own. At the end of the day, designer items don't matter. How you are inside matters and how you present yourself to others matters. So if you wanna treat yourself and you wanna get whatever you wanna get, by all means, do you? Because I'm the CEO of Treat Yourself Incorporated. However, just remember that designer items don't make you, you make you. I will continue these videos as long as it's well received. If people really enjoy them or if you guys want more, let me know and I will definitely continue to do more bougie on a budget videos along with other videos that I want to add to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. We're almost to 200 subscribers and I'll see you guys in my next video.